how about we just act as though me proposing you recently never actually happened? Veronica, we're going to stop thinking about getting married. I'm sorry, but let's split up today. I've considered a few things about the two of us, and I just don't think this will work anymore. What? Whoa, whoa. Wait a second, Raymond. What do you mean? Should we give up on getting married? You only just proposed to me a week ago, right? And I was so happy to finally be proposed to by you. And so I'm asking you to act as though something like that never happened between us. I don't want to get married to you anymore. So just forget all of that. And let's go back to the way things were a few weeks ago. I... I don't understand what's going on here. You would only tell me a few days ago that you wanted to grow old and happy with me. Yet now you're asking for us to split up? What the heck is this? Actually, my mom ended up being against us. And after talking to her for a bit about things, I came to the conclusion of doing as she said and stopping this marriage between us. What? You're telling me that your mom doesn't want us getting married? After all the time of her being okay with it, I was so surprised to hear from her that she didn't want us getting married anymore. Why is she against us getting married now, though? We've been together for almost 10 years now. And during those 10 years, I had seen your mom plenty of times and chatted with her. We've even gone out with one another shopping plenty of times. And now you're saying that your mom no longer wants me to marry you? She told me that you're a good woman and all, but you're getting too old now and that I need to find someone younger. She followed up by saying that since you're over 30 now, there's only unhappiness waiting for us. What? My mom had gotten married when she was 20 and then gave birth to me. And since then, she's always been home as a housewife for all of us. But since you're 30 years old and still don't have experience with kids, as well as aren't planning on quitting your job after we marry, she told me to just give up. Excuse me? As a girlfriend or a toy, you're fine. But as a wife, there's no need for you. My mom told me that very clearly. And you're just okay with what your mom said to you? You're going to do as she told you. Well, my mom promised me that in return for letting you go, she'd introduce me to a much more young and beautiful woman. Huh? I think she's gotten pretty close with this one young girl who's working at the flower shop in town, and she just happened to show me her picture just the other day. You'd think she was a model with the amount of beauty she radiates. And she told me that if I think I want to marry a woman like her, then it's totally fine to say goodbye to you. <laughs> You're kidding me. That's your reason for wanting to throw me away? At least you were a good girlfriend in these past 10 years, so thanks. Now, let's both of us find our true loves and marry them instead. <laughs> but you and I have been together for 10 whole years, ever since we both went to university together. I get that I'm 30 years old now, but I thought that we'd finally be ready to get married. But now you're saying at this time that you're throwing me away because I'm too old? I know that you're an old woman now, and finding someone to marry you will be tough, but just try your best. Ah, right, right, right. Can you make sure to give me back the engagement ring I gave to you? And if we aren't seeing each other again, then send that sucker in the mail for me. Ha 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 ha! You are the worst! I never once thought you'd turn into this kind of a man! But I guess throwing away those 10 years of us dating is a whole lot better than throwing away my life getting married to you. I never want to see you around me again. I think that if I'm going to get married, I'm better off with you. So Veronica, can you get back together with me? Huh? Why are you talking to me again? You're asking me to get back together with you? You remember what you did and said to me five years ago, right? I'm sorry about back then. After dating you for 10 years, I accidentally threw you away. I ended up going out with that woman my mom showed me when we were apart. But things didn't go too well between us, and we immediately broke up. I've been trying to get with other women, but they all ended up being duds as well. So now I see that I can only marry someone like you. Hmm? So you couldn't get along with anyone else, huh? And now you want to get back together after we only had 10 years of dating each other? Well, when trying to date them, nothing ever got anywhere. And everyone would end up saying that they wanted to break up before dumping me. For some reason, we just never could make anything last. But you and I had 10 years together, right? 
And in your case, I'm the only option you have now, right? <laughs> Not happening. Now goodbye. Forever. Hey, hey. Don't be so cold to me right now. I know that you're happy deep down that after five years I'm talking to you again. Huh? And you happen to be doing well on your own and make some decent money. And even my mom said that it might be worth getting back together with you. So she really wants the two of us back together. But I don't want to date you whatsoever. You threw me away in the worst way possible. So I'm done playing games with you. Now never talk to me again. Hey, Veronica. Why are you saying you're not getting back together with my son? This is the perfect chance for a washed up woman like you to find a man that will marry you. Now, go back to him and tell him with all your heart that you want to date him. Huh? Isabel? I'm even letting you know that I'm fine with you marrying my son now. You're a 35 year old woman and need to get a grip. I'm telling you that even though you're old, a lovely man is ready to marry you. You shouldn't take this chance for granted. Now hurry up and make up with my boy. Now, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Wasn't it you in the first place that made him and I break up? You forced him to believe that marrying me would be awful for him. And so he threw me aside. And now you seek to get me back with him? Back then, I was thinking about my son more than anyone. And that's why I wanted you both to break up. I knew that if he had a baby with a woman over 30, there'd be a chance that the kid would come out with a defect. What? And when he marries someone, they'll become part of the household, right? Yet, you said you wouldn't quit your job to stay at home. You were not only a worthless wife, but a worthless woman. And that's why I told him he could not marry you. Then why are you asking me to forgive him and get back together now? I've gained another five years now, so that could only mean that I've grown more worthless, right? And right now, I'm still working my job. That I said I'd never quit. I don't want to let my son get too old without finding someone to make his wife. So, to keep that from happening, I guess I'll settle with some grandma marrying him. Huh? I want my son to hurry up and end up with a wonderful wife that I can take advantage of. I want to sit back and relax. And I want to have a grandchild as well that I can spoil. I also will need someone here to take care of me instead of my son. Now that my legs don't work too well. Are you seriously thinking of having me do all that for you? I really wanted him to have a younger wife, but for some reason or another, my son couldn't make things work with them. I had so many women lined up for him, but he'd always end up getting broken up with. And during that time, I found out I'm sick. And so, if I let my son continue to be single, I'll never be able to receive good health care from him. Really? You're sick now, Isabel? There was a tumor discovered in my stomach, but it wasn't cancerous. And so, they were able to remove it with a simple surgery. Thank goodness. But during that time, I thought about some things. If that were to happen to me again, I'd need someone, even you, to be here to care for me. You also want a grandbaby and for me to take care of you in your later years? Why are all of these things advantages for you and your son? What? You should be happy about all of this as well, right? You're a used item that's in their 30s now, and someone is offering to marry you, all right? Stop trying to carry all of this out and hurry up and marry my son. And then hurry up and have a wedding and get to making me a grandbaby. Veronica, sorry about yesterday. I didn't take into full consideration of your feelings yesterday. I already know that a single grandma like you is ready to marry someone like me that's offering this chance to you. Huh? I was thinking last night why you should end up saying no to my request to get back together with me. 
and after having that time to think, I finally came to an understanding. There was something you wanted to hear from me first. You wanted me to ask you to go out with me again, right? Like when we first started dating. I'm sure you've been waiting for me to propose to you again as well, huh? Um, Raymond, are you sure you're not just thinking of things as being in your favor? I'm going to propose to you once again, Veronica. Let's get married right now. We've already been together for 10 years, so let's make it official. We may have been far apart for the last five years, but our feelings for one another haven't changed, right? Why do you think that? Nobody has been waiting for you to propose to them right now. It's fine, Veronica. I already know everything that you want from me. The ring you gave back to me five years ago is once again going to be placed on your ring finger. No, no, no. You have zero idea what I want from you right now. I am not going to get back together with you because it's impossible. You threw me out years ago for some other woman, so go back to fishing for another one that might bite at your proposal. Hey, hey, hey! What's wrong, Veronica? I've been giving you all you wanted like this proposal, and you've always wanted me to come back to you. So please, let me get back together with you now, and let's get married! What? I am so sorry for throwing away those ten years we had together, but I'm gonna let you marry me now. So thank me later. I am already married and have three kids. Huh? I found myself a splendid man to marry, and we've been enjoying one another ever since. And we happen to have three kids together, so every day for us is busy. So I'm telling you that I have zero time to hang out with an idiot like you. And so, because of all of this, I'm going. This better be the end of any more funny business from you, okay? What? Wait a minute. What do you mean? You're married now? And on top of that, you already have three kids? It's been five years now, and we've been going a while. We happened to find each other pretty quickly. And after dating briefly, we got married. And having our three kids has made me one happy 35-year-old. Thank goodness I never ended up getting back together with any men that thought it was a good idea to throw me away. No, 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 no. There's no way at all that you're married. Be because when you and I broke up, you were already 30 years old. There's no way some old hag could find a man willing to date and marry her. What does being 30 have to do with me being an old hag? I was able to find myself a man I liked. And after dating a little, we married. But... but that's... I'm sure, at your age, if you try hard like I did, you'll find someone that'll marry you. I won't be the one becoming your wife. But there has to be some poor soul out there willing to marry you out of pity. In between you and me, you should find that someone soon so that your mom stays happy. Shut up. I don't need you worrying about me or my mom. You just stabbed me in the back. You had me with you all that time, and yet you went out and married another man. Excuse me? And now you both have kids? Why would you have three kids with him, you idiot? I bet they're all disabled in some way. Now you have to take care of three poor kids that will end up homeless someday. I'm so happy to hear you live a life of pain and suffering after stabbing me in the back. What about my life is pain and suffering, Raymond? I have myself, a husband and three kids that I'm surrounded by and could never ask for more. He must be some lousy man if he was willing to marry a woman in her 30s then, huh? I bet he's ugly as hell and is without a job right now. Might as well add the terms brain dead in there, since he somehow let himself have kids with you. Raymond? And now you have to share three delinquents with him. I bet there's not enough money to go around in your house, and those kids will have to end up being uneducated. But I guess since they're all disabled and dumb, you couldn't teach them anything in the first place. They had to all get the DNA of their brain dead dad and have the IQ of a monkey. Ha ha ha! Hold on! Just because you couldn't marry me and have gone off the deep end, doesn't mean you can make fun of my family. I won't forgive childish behavior like that of any kind. But everything I've said is facts, right? Three disabled kids. Man, your life must suck. I am still working full-time at my job, and compared to five years ago, I'm doing a whole lot better. And my husband is doing well himself, running his own company. And because of the wealth we amass, we are able to have and support three kids with no problem with our bank. Huh? He has a company? We have both worked hard together and made enough money for all three of our kids. 
And as for our kids, they are all so cute and have been doing great when it comes to learning. So this is not the type of family that an idiot child can be making fun of. Hey, wait. Are you being serious when you say your husband runs his own company? The company itself is small, but it makes up for that by bringing in large sums of money. Even when things aren't going as great, we have enough money from the company to hire a babysitter and some cleaning ladies to take care of the house while he and I relax on vacation. What? And I'm no longer going to let you get away with harassing my family's name like that. Before you even think about trying to make fun of another person's family, maybe take a look at what you have and make fun of that. Um, hi Veronica. I heard about everything from Raymond. He told me that you still do not want to marry him. That's because I'm with another man now, and we've been happily married. We also have kids, and so I've never thought of marrying Raymond. What the hell do you mean you're married? You tell that husband of yours to leave you and come back here and marry my son. If you really have to, you can bring your kids along with you. Then I can at least become a grandma with my three little grandkids. Please don't say things like that. You're scaring me. Why would I ever do something like that? I'm being very serious right now. So hurry up and leave him and come marry my baby boy. Even though you know that you'd be happier with Raymond. Well, let me ask you this then. A husband that has his own company or a husband that has nothing but minimum wage and three adorable babies or a husband that acts like a child. Which one of those paths would you think I'd be more happy with right now? What? You'd probably choose the path that has me with the company-owning millionaire and the three adorable babies. And if you choose for me to go with Raymond, can you tell me what the merits of that would be? Ah! Are you saying that my own baby boy has nothing to offer you as your husband? Oh, so you do understand what I mean? That's exactly what I'm saying, yes. This is not the time to play games with me. Just because you have a decent life there doesn't mean you can turn down marrying my son. Well, if this is how you're going to act, then never mind. I'll give up on you altogether then. But you have to give me one of your three kids. I want him to become my new son. What the absolute frick is wrong with your head, Isabel? I would never even think of that giving you one of my kids is okay. Then have your husband introduce my son to some successful lady friends. He has to know at least some women that are either CEOs or have parents that are loaded. So you have to help him find one of those women for my boy. It's your son that's the problem, Isabel. Nobody wants to marry a child like him. I can see that this is getting nowhere, so I'm leaving. You'd better hurry up though, you hag. Your clock is ticking, and you still need to find someone that will marry your son, give you grandkids, and be willing to take care of your old crippled butt. What is going on? Your husband? I never knew he was that handsome looking and that swole. How did you end up finding someone like him over me? Huh? Did you happen to run into my husband somewhere? That guy came to the company I work at today. He was coming, looking to become a customer of our company and wanted to introduce himself. I can see that the company he has is on everyone's radar. And the moment he walked in, he was taken right away to my CEO's office. Wow, that's amazing of him, right? And during that, I was sitting right there for a moment. He started talking to me. He told me that he's heard all sorts of stories about me from you. And then he told me that he's glad I broke up with you because you're better off with him. My gosh, what a man. I can't believe he even thought it was worth it to talk to you. That jerk just embarrassed me in front of the whole office. And then my boss asked him if he really knew me. And then he took my boss into his office and started telling him all about me. He even brought up you and I dating and that after 10 years, I threw you away. And then followed up by telling him about how I've been trying to marry you. Then he finished by telling my boss how I'm looking for someone to have a baby with and to use to help care for my aging mother. What the hell? And after that, Everyone in this office is giving me the cold shoulder. Dang, I'm glad he's made things more interesting for you. Nothing is interesting about this though. Now that everyone knows about what's happened between you and me, I've been getting faces from everyone and nobody wants to talk with me. 
Why did you guys do this to me? I don't think I can even go into the office anymore. Then just quit your job and find someone to marry. I'm sure if you use the time you usually work to start looking for a woman, you'd find one eventually that'll pity you. Now I have to get back to my husband so the two of us can start making tacos. And just like that, I never received another text or call from Raymond. And the word around town is that he still has not found himself a woman willing to marry and have babies with him. And I'm sure, due to all of the worrying of her son never getting married, Isabel ended up fainting and going to the hospital. But while being admitted to the hospital, she would continue to try and get the nurses to marry her son. And so things ended with her even being kicked out of there. And as for Raymond, even though he's the clown of the office now and nobody wants to talk to him unless it's to laugh at his face, he started to stalk new hires that were women, asking them if he'd like to marry him. Of course, this did not slide, and soon his boss found out and took Raymond into his office and fired him on the spot. I sure can't wait to see what Isabel's reaction will be to something like that. I'm sure she'll be furious, but at this point she'd better just give up on her son. As I'm pretty sure, he's not going to change any of the problems that turn every woman off. As for my family, we're continuing to enjoy every day of our lives together under the same roof. My husband has become huge business partners with the company that Raymond once worked for, and he and the CEO of that company love going out for drinks to talk about how crazy he was. I have to say, I married the right man after learning that he called Raymond out like that, or, I suppose, exposed him like that in front of literally everyone. It just makes me so happy knowing that I have a man that loves me so much.